Hey guys, welcome to another video. Hasib here and hope you are doing well. So in this video, we will learn how to use custom fonts in Go High Level Funnel Builder. So if you want to use your own font that is not included in the Go High Level Funnel Builder, in this video, I'll show you how to use that. So without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so here we are, guys. We want to use custom fonts on this funnel page. Uh, right now, we are using uh, the fonts that's included in the funnel builder. So we are currently using Montserrat. But now for headlines, I want to use custom font that's not included and for text i want to include another uh, i, I want to use another custom font that's not also included in the high level funnel builder so for using custom fonts you need two things first of all you need the font file so whatever the font is you need to have that file and then you need to upload that into high level um and then secondly you need the code to include that to include that font or those fonts into your funnel so let's say I want to use custom fonts called Addy House Dean. So uh, let's have a look. If I just do some Google Addy House Dean font download. So this is my font I want to use for headlines, right? And I want to use another one called Avenir. Next. Right. So I want to use this. So I have both the fonts downloaded on my end. Uh, all I need to do is just upload them, and then I'll I'll send you. Uh, I'll also put the code in this video's description that I'm going to use in this video, uh, so you can also use it on your funnel. So I have the fonts downloaded on my other screen. Uh, what you need to do is basically download this and unzip it. Uh, same thing for the text font. So this is what I'm using for headlines. This is what I'm using for text. Once you download them. You'll have the OTF or the TTF file with you and you need to just go to media storage and upload it. So let me just upload it. It's just a simple drag and drop. So first, let me just do the Adi House Din. That's my headline font, right? And for text, that's my text font. Yeah, there you go. So this is my headline font, this is my text font, and both these are already uploaded. Okay, so now we need that piece of code. Let me just grab that real quick. Okay, so this is the piece of code we need for the funnel uh, to load the, uh, the fonts, the custom fonts, right? So let's say uh, if you want to load only one font, you just need to include this bit only once. Because I'm loading it, uh, I'm loading two fonts, that's why I'm just putting it twice here. Uh, so what we need to do now is we need to go back and then grab the links to these files. So this is the headline font, right? So let's just get the link to that headline font. And then I'll just quickly copy this. So the original code stays as it is. So you can also copy it from here. Um, so let me just grab it again. So this will be the URL to that headline font. Sorry, this will be the URL. Okay. And now here, what you need to do is you need to know the name of the font family that you are trying to include. So here, my font family name can be easily found here. So this is my font family name. And I'll just put it here. That's it. And then one more time. So this is what I'm using for... Um, this is what I'm using for headlines, right? So this is this is my headline font, including this is my uh, declaration that I'm using this font in this funnel. So okay, so this is where I'm. I have to include the font family name where I'm including the font where I'm declaring that I'm using this font in this funnel, right? So in both places, and you need to only paste the URL here once um, under source URL and make sure the double inverted R. Uh, basically, the URL is uh, surrounded by the double inverted. Okay, now same thing for the text font. So let me just grab the name of the uh, font family of that as well. Uh, where do I search? Let me just find that real quick. So this is the font family name for the text font that I'm trying to use. I'll just copy it and then go back here. So this is my text font name. So we go and now again one more time i'll just do this here 
again this is me including the font right and this is me declaring that this font will be used in this funnel so uh now let's go back and grab the url to the font okay so that's what we need to do here there we go so this code this whole code will, will be now copied and i'll go back to my funnel and in the funnel builder right in the funnel builder let me just get rid of this i need to go to the page and in the custom css section i will include that and make sure the code has these bits important in it because i need to override the high level fonts because otherwise the fonts won't be loading and high level fonts will have priority over my fonts uh, so in custom CSS, I'll just basically copy and paste it. And as you can see, it's changed the fonts already. Now let's look at a preview. There we go. So this is the headline fonts and this is the text fonts. Let's see if uh, it was loaded properly. So text, Adi House Dean, uh, being rendered Adi House Dean as well. And now let's go back again one more time for text fonts. Avenue next W1G. That's what I want to use. That's what is being rendered. So that's how you use custom fonts in Go High Level Funnel Builder in your funnel pages. Hope this video was useful and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.